Now, before we finish the rest of that cast, I gotta explain a little bit about what's going on here. You know, 2020 was a crazy, wild year. And obviously, on the tournament trails, for me, it was very successful. I cannot complain one bit. You know, I was blessed to win the Angler of the Year title for the Hobie Bass Open Series. Finished really well in KBF events. I got a second. I had a ninth at the National Championship. My fourth top 10 in a row at the National Championship. I had a, I was sixth in the Trail Series Championship. Great year. But, you know, we moved to Ohio. Uh, coronavirus, a lot of craziness happened, and I wasn't able to, to make vlogs, tournament vlogs, following me along the tournament trails like I was hoping to do, and I did for a couple videos at the beginning of the year. But what I've done now, I have all this juicy footage just sitting around, so what I'm going to do is actually make instructional videos with specific fish catches along the tournament trail path that led me to the AOI, because there's a lot to learn in specific individual fish catches. Starting with today's lesson about how to catch fish on a Z-Man streaks by following up when they miss your strike, whether it's a buzz bait, a whopper plopper, chatter bait, spinner bait, doesn't matter. Z-Man streaks will catch them. Or if you just see fish out there busting the surface, how you can just quickly just throw it over there and catch them. So let's, uh, let's see what happens with the rest of this cast and this uh, fish catch here. Let's rewind that real quick so you can see the strike again because this is how you know it's a bass guys i'm going to teach you real quick see how fast that is that was not sped up that was real time it is a violent fast thrashing chaotic destructive just busting of the surface a lot of species will sort of roll uh carp and gar and catfish and tail slap but it's not violent and as destructive as you see right here as this fish just sort of comes out i mean look at that crush that's the way it looks when they hit your buzz bait your spook your whopper plopper right that's a bass now obviously we're not always staring right at the spot so you have to understand how to read the water and the waves and the splashes when you turn your head and you see that like if, it, if a fish jumps out of the water completely it's most likely not a bass it's a carp it's a mullet it's a trout 95 percent of the time bass do not jump completely out of the water it's more on the surface thrashing. And then you pick up the bait you have in your hand. Like I'm throwing this whopper plopper back because it was the first thing I can put in front of it. And usually that's what they'll hit because they're in such a mode of a, of a killing mode. They almost don't even care what it is. If that doesn't work, of course, and then preferably you would actually have a, uh, a Z-Man streaks like this, a soft plastic jerk bait. Here you could skip on the surface and make it look just like that minnow and then bam, they nail it. If they don't hit it like this, like this one does, yeah, there we go. Then twitch it and it'll act like an injured minnow that it just missed when it attacked it. Good fish. Well, I don't know how good it is. It's a spinning rod, you can never tell. She was crushing bait. Bait, I saw her. Maybe 16. It actually ended up being 16 and three quarter inches, which put me at 87 and a half for the day. I ended up in fourth place overall in the tournament after day two. But this single fish catch, this technique actually helped me get the AOI. Z Man streak strikes again. Awesome follow up bait. Awesome, awesome, awesome bait to throw when you see fish busting minnows. Now, before we end this video, there's actually a few more things that we can learn. And I don't even realize I'm doing these things until I've watched the video back. Uh, you'll see a lot of Bass Pros do this exact same thing I'm about to talk about. You know, Elite Series guys, MLF guys. You'll notice when I hook this fish, first thing I did after I get a good hook set in that fish, I loosen that drag. Just instinctively, just time in the water experience, you just do it. You don't know how big the fish is, and I'm picturing every fish that I hook, you know, optimistically picturing it's a giant or it's at least a, uh, a fish of significance, as I would say, which is going to end up on my stringer at the end of the tournament. So loosen that drag up, pull a little bit of line, and as you're playing them, just, just take your time when you're in open water because you just don't know how big they are until you see them. And that's a, a little tip that will help you catch a few more fish instead of breaking off right after you set the hook. Well, hopefully you guys learned something today and be on the lookout for more videos just like this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And while you're at it, go check out the Hooked on Wild Waters podcast. My co-host, Ken Morris and I, Dr. Norris Water, we get into stuff like this 
on every episode. Teachable moments, we follow the tournament trail scene, the latest happenings in the fishing world, not just kayak fishing world. And uh, I think it's a podcast that you'll enjoy. So go check it out on all the major podcast platforms. See you next time.